Welcome to Syracuse University, a place that I call home. Now, over the last couple of years, I've been able to make the most of every moment from making videos downtown to having my own talk show to going to basketball games. But when I'm not doing those things, I'm just a regular SU student. And I start my day like everybody else. Let's do it. Now I always start off my day with, you know, a little skincare, brush my teeth. Skincare is a big thing for me. I feel like it's just very therapeutic. Today I'm gonna to be taking you with me in the day in the life of a Syracuse student. That's me, let's do it. So this apartment's in Winding Ridge and it is one of the last stops on the bus route to South Campus. I always start off my day with a green smoothie um, just so I know that I kinda had something that was healthy to start out my day. Beyond being like a physical thing, it, I think it's also like a mental thing too, knowing that I ate something that was good for me. Breakfast is ready. Now, let's get ready to head on the campus. So far, I've already shown you me getting ready, me making my famous green smoothie. Uh, I had Japanese class today. That happened, so. Konnichiwa, mina san, genki desu ka? Now I'm taking my car and I'm gonna head to the bus stop because where I live on South is a little bit of a walk, so I just prefer to drive to the bus stop. So, see you at the bus stop. Currently at the bus stop, waiting to get to campus. So, I'm taking this bus so I can get off at College Place and then I have to get tested because it's my day to get tested for COVID. After that, I'll probably head to Shine, grab a bite, and then head to class. Let's do it. To take the bus to campus, you need the 344. All right, y'all, so I just got to the testing site. I'm gonna do my weekly test and then head to class. Test complete. I am feeling a little hungry. So we're gonna stop by Shine and grab some food. I mean, look at campus. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, to remind myself that I go here and that, like, it's just so picturesque. Really a blessing. But it doesn't always look like that. It's a really nice day out. We've got a ton of kids on the campus. It's actually looking like a typical college campus today. Ever since Shine opened, it just felt like the heartbeat of campus was just revived. I mean, you gotta check it out. Good place, good food, good vibes. Check out Shine. Next up, New House, where I spent a ton of time. Uh, TV, radio, and film is housed there, and it's where a lot of my major courses are taught. That's Wes. Wes is the Associate Director for Recruitment and Diversity. He's really the GOAT. It's the man right here. <laughs> man, man with the legend, man. Don't mind anything about New House, come see this guy. No, y'all come see this guy. <laughs> He's right here in the New House Visitor Center. And if you do go visit Wes, tell him David sent you. Sometimes you just gotta stand and admire. I mean, on nice days like that, come on. So, finished classes for the day, and I'm now headed back to South Campus, and I'm gonna get ready to go to the gym. Fun fact, I actually missed that bus right there. And here's my bus. Not one of my finest moments. Uh, 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 uh. 
I spend a ton of time at Barnes. From wellness to focusing on uh, workouts, it's really like my place and where I feel like I can just let it all out and leave feeling de stress, honestly. And that concludes Syracuse Barn Center experience. Hope you enjoyed getting to go to the gym with me. Now, time to head home and cook dinner. We have finally arrived at that point in the day. I'm making dinner, and we're having ramen tonight. Let's do it. This was my first time making this kind of ramen. That's Andre. Andre's a third year mechanical engineering major. And he was also at the gym with me earlier. But I just thought I'd show you him now, because he doesn't have a mask on. All right, y'all, I finished dinner. I made the chicken ramen and show you style of bra. Let's check it out. Okay, okay, I think it looks like the picture. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time.